Welcome to Sage Pastel Payroll's medical aid processing video. This video will cover five different scenarios, as well as the employee setup and transaction code breakdown. How to do the initial medical aid setup. Navigate to Edit, Employee Master File. Click on the Statutory tab and select the Medical Aid tab. Enter the amount of the beneficiaries on the medical aid, including the main member. For weekend fortnightly employees, you will need to select which periods a fringe benefit needs to be processed. This is only applicable to the fringe benefit values and not the processing codes. You will need to set up the beneficiaries on the master file before processing the medical aid codes. In order to process medical aid, you will need to select the codes that are applicable to your employee's situation, along with mandatory codes 8000 and 8002. If an employee is 65 or older, the mandatory codes A003 and A008 also needs to be added. The code 8002 is what we refer to as a ghost transaction. It does not affect the payslip or print on the payslip. Its sole purpose is to calculate the amount of the tax credit based on the number of beneficiaries. The amount per beneficiary can change from year to year, so check the relevant year's pocket guide to check the tax credit amount per beneficiary. The code 8000 will mainly be processed as a negative. This amount does affect the payslip and will print on the payslip. The amount on code 8000 will either be the negative of the amount on code 8002 or the amount on code 8001, whichever is the lesser amount. The code 8000 will deduct from the code 8001 on the EMP 201. The code A003 is similar to the code A002 as it does not affect the payslip or print on the payslip. This code needs to be processed for employees that are 65 years of age or older. The calculation is based on a formula that can be viewed in the payroll pocket guide. The code A008 will calculate a negative mirroring the code A003 or the remainder of the pay as you earn after the code 8000 was deducted, whichever is a lesser value. This code will affect the EMP 201 and the payslip. How to process medical aid if there's both an employee and an employer contribution. In this case, you will have to process the code 8090 and 9090. Navigate to Process Payslips. On the Default tab, add the code 8090 and then enter the amount that will be deducted from this employee. On the code 9090, you will process the amount that the company will contribute. Since you have processed the code 9090, you will have to process the fringe benefit code 6172. You will see that this code will automatically calculate the same value as the amount on transaction 9090. Make sure that the mandatory transactions 8000 and 8002 have been processed. The amount will calculate automatically based on the values entered on the master file. Always click on yes to add transactions to the periodic tabs. How to process a private medical aid when the employee pays the medical aid privately and only wants to receive their monthly tax credits. You will process the code 7085 that does not affect the payslip's net salary along with the mandatory codes 8000 and 8002 on the default and periodic tabs. How to process an employee's private medical aid if the company also pays an allowance towards this medical aid.
you will need to create a new transaction to process the payment the employer makes to the employee towards their medical aid. Navigate to Setup Transactions. Click on New. In this code field, enter the code between 1000 and 4999. In the template field, enter the code 5210, regular payment. Enter the description and save the transaction. Navigate to the default tab on the employee's payslip and add the code 7085 to the payslip. You will have to process the entire medical aid payment on this code. Process the newly created code and only process the amount that the company will be contributing. Once again, the entire amount that is paid for the medical aid will need to be added to the code 7085. The mandatory codes 8000 and 8002 needs to be added to the payslip. Please note that transaction 7085 will not affect the net salary of this employee's payslip as this employee pays this amount directly out of their own individual bank account. How to process only an employee deduction. Navigate to the default tab of the employee's process payslip screen and enter the code 8090 along with the entire amount that needs to be deducted from the employee as well as the mandatory codes 8000 and 8002. How to process only an employer contribution. Navigate to the default tab of the payslip and process the code 9090 along with the code 6172. The entire amount that has been processed on the code 9090 will display on the code 6172. Ensure that the mandatory transactions 8000 and 8002 has also been processed. If an employee turns 65 and they are still fully employed, you will process the code based on the employee situation along with the codes 8000, 8002, 8003 and 8008. If the employee is retired, please reach out to your tax practitioner to find out which tax totals need to be used. Thank you for watching our video and reach out to us on our self-help platforms.